Hi everyone, today we're going to look at sharing a database in SQL Server Express 2014. And the first thing we'll do is call up our SQL Server Management Studio that we installed our, our, ourselves the last time along with creating the actual database. So we'll log on to this instance here and we'll connect to it. And the first thing we want to do is we want to verify that the remote connections are allowed. In order to do this, we right click and go down to properties. And under properties, we'll see connections. And along right here, we have a remote server connections and it says allow remote connections to the server. We want that checked just as it is. Now it defaults to that, but you want to make sure that you verify this. So we'll say, okay. Next, what we'll do is we're going to be calling up SQL Server Configuration Manager. In order to do so, what we have to do is we go to uh, under Programs, under Microsoft SQL Server, you'll notice that there's Configuration Tools, and underneath that we'll have SQL Server 2014 Configuration Manager. All right. So once we click that, um, we will call up the SQL Server Manager. And what we're doing is trying to make um, other computers on the network actually see what we're actually doing and I communicate to our SQL Server database. So the first thing we'll do is go to the SQL Server services and we'll have SQL Server browser. Currently right now it defaults to stop and the start mode is actually manual. If we actually right click on that, go to properties. Now. What now we'll do is go to, you see here now the service is stopped. We go to service and under start mode, we want to change that to automatic. And then we'll apply that and hit OK. Now we can, right now it's still stopped, but set for automatic. So what we can do is again go to properties and we can start that service. So now we have the service running. And at the same time here, you'll see our, our login account, our built-in account. You know, we can have local system, uh, we can have network service. So it really depends on how you want to log into this database in order to have that connection to the server. So we'll just say okay. So now that we have that running here, we'll go down to our um, SQL Server network connections and our protocols. And now we have two things. We have TCP IP um, and we have the name pipes. So TC IP, we want to enable this, this uh, communication network and saying we have to restart service after. We'll say OK. And our name pipes, we can actually call it by the actual name of the server itself. So we're going to enable that. Okay. So once we have those enabled, now we'll have to go back to the service and we will right click that and we can hit restart. So it's going to stop the service then start the service again. Okay, And there we have it. Now our other computers on our network can actually see our database. Okay, That's it for now. Now all the links and documentation we found on our website at accautomation.ca. If you like this video and like to see more, there are three ways in which you can help us out. You can give us a thumbs up so other people can find this information just as you have. You can subscribe to our YouTube channel at the end of the video. You can also go to accautomation.ca and subscribe to our website. When you do, notification will be given to you every time we publish new content to the site. You'll also get two free ebooks on numbering systems and robust data locking. And the third thing to do to help us out is to tell a friend or colleague about the site. Alright, that's it for now. Thanks for watching.